stand up comedy, I think, has always been an essential part of healthy speech in our country. I mean, you go back to Lenny Bruce, although Lenny Bruce wasn't funny at all. No. Lenny Bruce was a huge free speech pioneer. You obviously have the seven dirty words you can't say on television with George Carlin, which was a revolutionary case. Um, and it, uh, what is the environment? I mean, I hear like Jerry Seinfeld won't go out and do comedy on college campuses. I mean, I was just at a show the other day where a girl got offended and she had to message and say, Hey, I just want to let you know, like, I was really upset with something you said. Like, no. it's like, what? they're making it. The, and the person that said it was making a joke. Like it was, it was a funny joke. Like, right. but they were the butt of the joke and they felt like they were being bullied and they wanted everyone to know that they were upset about it. Like, what they really felt entitled to, again, was your attention. Yeah. It wasn't enough that they were offended and then they're just not going to go back and support you. It's that they demand that they you know that they were offended right. by it and they feel entitled to an apology at minimum. Yeah. Or your, or your attention at minimum and an apology ideally. So I, And a commitment to never do it again. Yeah, yeah. Which so, is oppression. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Quit oppressing me. Yes. Uh, so I, I get told all the time, it's a running joke that I look like Rachel Maddow. And like I can either get offended by it and be like, I don't want anyone saying that about me. Right. Or I can go, yeah, I fucking do. Like I look at myself in the mirror, I do. Right. I am and much prettier than she is. I can see how people get I can see how people get upset. Like, I mean, because it's just a bunch of people on Twitter just like, hey, you look like and it's like they all want to be part of the joke. Right. And I totally get it. Like, if I was fifteen or however old this kid was, you know what I mean? Like or if I was 22 when I first started comedy and this was happening to me, I'd be like, oh, why is everyone picking on me? I'm like, no, they just don't want to be a part of the joke. It's fine. I'm yeah. comfortable in my own skin. I think a lot of this just has to do with that. And Yeah, I think that's that's a huge part of, especially if you're in the media. And I, I don't think a lot of people, I, I, the older you get, the thicker the skin you get. You just go, yeah, I'm not apologizing. I like, said it. I, I think Kat's about to check her fucking hair in her cell phone again. I was checking... Like, comments on and, Facebook live okay all right so uh, in three years she won't care she'll just right. show up and sit down and be like yep we're podcasting I don't care what I look like right it's called giving up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that hasn't happened it's like when, <laughs> <laughs> it's like when we were at Sam's Club and I go cat you need to learn to not give so much of a fuck and that old lady goes he's right <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the greatest moment